everyone welcome to my channel I am Tara with pieces of Tara artistry I am going to be doing a commission piece today uh, if you look there that's the consistency of all of my paints so sometimes people ask me if the consistency that I use for my base paint is different than the consistency of my puddle paints or my Dutch pour paints and that is no they are the as close as the same com consistency as I possibly can get. Um, I'm throwing down the base coat here. It is the white pearl cell recipe. I did show that and um, I forgot to prep my edges. And really this was an important one to make sure that the edges were prepped because it is a 30 by 48 commission piece. I didn't want to mess it up and I want to make sure that it um, the uh, design stuck to the side, which is why you prep the edges with the two paint to get the edges tacky so that that design stays um, on the edges. So I wanted to make sure that that was done correctly. So I did before I moved forward, I made sure to get those edges good. I let it sit for a couple minutes and you'll see me now, I, I am making sure that all of the edges are wet. I'm not super concerned at this point about making sure that my edges are, are great, um, but I do want to make sure that they are all wet because when you start to um, tilt the puddle paints over the edges, you want to make sure that they're completely covered so that the the um, paint slides over those edges nicely so that you do get a good design all the way around. So of course I'm gonna go ahead and torch. It's a large canvas so it took a minute to torch it and I am going to go ahead and lay down my puddle paints. So a lot of times I get questions about my puddle paints and my Dutch pour paints they are mixed exactly the same. So I do go ahead and mix them with the two paints or the um, fluid paints from Golden. And then um, lately my pouring medium has changed a little bit. Uh, I've had a hard time getting a hold of the large bottles or the gallon bottles of the GAC. 800 and the golden uh, color pouring medium gloss in the gallon so I've had to buy the 32 ounce uh, containers and so I've kind of been interchanging them a little bit so I think all of these colors were mixed with the pouring medium of 50% Floetrol and 50% of the golden color pouring medium uh, so but I can I interchange that often with the golden GAC 800 so just so you all know that um, you can interchange them the golden color pouring medium does have the same properties in it as the golden GAC 800 uh, it just has some added uh, improvements to it that Golden has, and they've come up with. Uh, originally, Golden Gag 800 was their pouring medium, uh, and so they've kind of made um, some adjustments, they've made some improvements with their new pouring mediums, which is the Golden Color Pouring Medium, and you can get it in either gloss or matte. So just so you all know that, you can go ahead and use either one. I do so interchangeably as far as whatever I have on hand at the time. So this is the golden interference gold that I'm putting on as the last layer of the puddles. And if you have watched me, you know I love, love, love this interference gold. It is literally my favorite color right now. So you guys, I know, have seen it a lot uh, if you watch my channel, and you'll probably continue to see it a lot. I just really love all of the options that are available with it, and I really love the glow that comes from it. And Baxter apparently does too, because he was just agreeing with me. I, I can never do these voiceovers without 
having one of my dogs barking or growling or whatever. So anyway, y'all, um, I'm going to go ahead and tilt this out. I do tilt uh, to the point where all of that uh, golden interference is covering the entire canvas. And then uh, you'll see that I do continue to tilt even once uh, it's covered. So I am going to go ahead and I'm going to um, show you that you see that kind of the blue edge closest to us uh, You see that it, it's kind of thinned out there where you can kind of see that uh, Prussian blue. That's what you want. If you want pearls, you have to stretch your paint to the point where a lot of it is stretched off so you see there's a large amount of paint on my table and you're gonna watch that even though maybe you may have felt like enough of the paint was off of the canvas there's still quite a bit coming off and so I'm gonna continue to kind of stretch this I'm gonna move the paint down to where I think I need it and um, once I do that then I'm gonna go to that opposite corner and stretch the paint back towards the center so you want to make sure that your edges if you want pearls on your edges especially you have to make sure that the paint that is covering over top of your base paint is thinned out enough on those edges so that the pearls pop to the top and with bare versus the deco art the deco art you will see the pearls much quicker the bear you're gonna see them slower but i feel like there's more control with the bear pearls versus the deco art pearls the bear pearls don't take over as much as the deco art pearls now i have had a lot of comments about uh, a few videos back, I uh, showed how I reuse my drips from my table, and I've had some questions from people asking me to show how I scrape my table. So there you go, guys. I have a bucket, and I am taking, I think, I don't know, like a cake, cakes, I don't know what it is exactly. <laughs> but I got it in the cake aisle of Hobby Lobby and it's just a plastic scraper and it's basically, I'm just kind of going underneath of my canvas just a little bit and scraping as much of the paint back into the bucket as I possibly can because I definitely reuse my drips. Uh, if you didn't see how I reuse my drips or how I strain my drips to reuse them, I do have a video on that that you can go back and watch. Um, this one, I did use a lot of paint and you guys are probably gonna comment that I used a lot of paint, but again, I do reuse the drips, but I also used a lot of paint because I wanted to make sure that my entire canvas was covered and that I had enough paint on there to be able to stretch in every direction to get the design that I was looking for. So never fear, I will reuse all of those drips uh, and um, they definitely will not go to waste. So usually when I go ahead and uh, do these pearl puddle pours uh, with the Dutch pour over top, I wait about 15, 20 minutes before I start laying down my colors for the Dutch pour. So here I am, I'm gonna go ahead and start layering them I will list my paints as I go and um, basically when I uh, finish layering these paints I'm gonna blow them out but 
Um, at the very end, stick around, you guys, because I did have to do some embellishments. I didn't get them on camera, but uh, the top portion just was a little bit... I don't know not not muddy but it just wasn't as defined as the bottom portion so I did have to go ahead and add in some darker lines some dimension to make sure that that upper portion matched the lower portion so stick around I will show you a video of the wet results and the dry results and the dry results after I go ahead and do the embellishments uh, as well as photos at the end. So thank you guys again so much for being here. Uh, sorry if I talked too much for some of you, but I do want to give some explanations of what I'm doing. I think there's a lot of new people out there, a lot of people with a lot of questions. And um, I do recommend if you are new to my channel or if you are new to pearl pouring, go into... Um, some of my earlier videos uh, I do have a couple of playlists with the pearl cells and the pearl cell Dutch pours um, if you want to go ahead and, and look at them I do have paint mixing videos uh, mixing the paints for white pearls as well as for colored pearls so if you're looking to not get the white pearls which a lot of times is what you see with a pearl pour um, I do have a paint mixing video on how I mix my paints for the color pearl cells. So go in and check those out. Um, and yeah, go ahead, you guys, if you like what you're seeing, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you're notified each time I put out a new video. Um, head over to DJ Fluid Arts. It's my dad's channel, which um, he's got some really cool new stuff that's going to be coming out very soon. I'm excited for you guys to see it. So check him out as well. And that's pretty much it, you guys. Um, thank you again for being here. And I really, uh, I, I hope you enjoy what you're seeing. If you do, please leave a comment. If you have any questions, absolutely go in into the comments and leave the question or you can go in and send me an email my email is listed in um, the about section on my channel um, and yeah oh also I'm on social media so check me out on Facebook or or um, DM me on Instagram I do have a Patreon account if you want to go check that out um, donations and um, uh, are always always appreciated uh, especially since supplies are not cheap and um, I love to continue to make these videos for you guys so all right well I'm gonna stop talking you guys so thank you again uh, I love you all I appreciate you all so much and I will see you on the next one bye guys
Okay, so I'm just gonna pop in here real quick. Um, this is the top portion that I just didn't feel like there was enough dimension on it. Uh, so I did go back in with some golden fluids of the Prussian blue and just add a little bit more dimension to that top portion, uh, which I think it turned out really good. Um, I added in the Prussian blue, some more of that interference gold, um, some of the Venetian blue in different spots. But yeah, I, I just had to add in some, some of those darker defining lines because it, it really did need it in that, that upper portion. So I'm so happy I did. It turned out beautiful. I'm really happy that um, I went ahead and added in a little bit of that embellishment because it, the top now matches the bottom portion, which I think is beautiful. So thank you again. Uh, hope you like it, and I will talk to you in the next one. Thanks.